Hi, welcome to Bob Harper's Jukebox Restorations Workbench and on the workbench today, as you can see, we've got a Rockolo amplifier. This is out of one of those little Warmanked uh, jukeboxes, I'm not quite sure which particular model, um, but they're all basically the same anyway. Uh, so basically what we've got here, we've got the uh, power supply, which I've put a new uh, rectifier in for the Mac. Uh, I've got the amplifier, which came in, um, it was working apparently when it came in, but um, it must have been really poorly working because um, it virtually needed all new valves apart from one 6CY7 here which was the original uh, the output valves were very low so were the uh, ECC81s and this ECC82 was extremely noisy so I've had to replace that um, obviously replaced the electrolytic can caps here and all the caps uh, in the amplifier and checked any resistors out of tolerance replaced the little caps in the volume control um, so yeah, he's all ready to go now. I've had him on test uh, yesterday afternoon when I was working on it. Um, and again out here this morning in the workshop. Um, so we'll put him on for you. Just a little clip. Bass control. Plenty of bass. Treble. Okay, that's enough of that in case I get any copyright strikes. I may notice he's on the 8 watts setting here. Got 60 gnome load speakers. There's only got 8 ohm speakers on it, so I've worked it down to 8 watts to match them. Um, it's in the stereo position. Obviously, the machine is normally kept in the mono position, and the output is fed mon mono output uh, to the single, or well, it's a pair of uh, speakers, but they're wired as, as one in parallel um, on the machine into here. And I've checked that, that works okay. I worked the check the AVC that's working as it should so yeah basically it's been gone right through uh, the issues was it was a uh, very noisy amp you touch anything on the amp and it would crackle and pop uh, there was no bass um, and generally it just didn't sound very good um, the crackling and popping and the hum issues it had with it which these amps are very prone to due to these riveted um, grounding strips that, that Rockola used when they manufactured it it only needs a slight bit of resistance on any of these rivets and you will get hum. So I directly solder each of these rivets to the chassis. Uh, same here, it's all soldered direct to the chassis under here. Um, and that eliminates any hum problems that you'll get with these amps. Um, and they are prone to it. You can tap them or press them down hard in certain places and you, the hum will come back um, until you... Um, solder each uh, grounding point directly to the chassis uh, with a big soldering iron rather than rely on those rivets. Happens with these a lot, it also happens on the Princess uh, amplifiers as well and the ones using the Regis. All these all these amplifiers that had this stupid design of using rivets as grounding points. But anyway, he's all done now. Enough of me rabbiting on. Thanks for a lot for watching. Catch you again. Bye.